Now in this video, we're going to be looking to determine whether this matrix A has any lines of invariant points. Now, in the previous video, we showed that uh, we could determine a point was invariant or not by applying the matrix and seeing whether we got the same thing. So we're going to use the same idea. So 5 minus 2, 3 minus 0.5. Now, in order for this to, um, for us to be able to find whether there are any lines of invariant points, if I apply that, to x, y, what I'm looking to get is x, y out of this. Okay? So that's the idea, is that these points will remain invariant, will be mapping to themselves. So, let's multiply this left-hand side out. So we've got 5 lots of x and minus 2 lots of y. So 5x minus 2y and we've got 3x uh, take away 0.5y. And that's got to be equal to xy. OK. So the 5x minus 2y has got to be equal to x. That top row has got to be consistent. So that means that if I rearrange that, I get 2y must be equal to 4x, so y must be equal to 2x. The bottom row, I've got 3x take away 0.5y is equal to y. So uh, adding the 0.5y to both sides, we're going to get 3x is equal to 1.5y. So dividing both sides by 1.5, I get y is equal to 2x. And it is this consistency that I have here, which means that uh, the invariant points, there are invariant points, OK? The line of invariant points is y is equal to 2x, OK? So uh, there is a line, so all of the invariant points lie on the line y equals 2x. So what that's saying is that if you had a point that was on y equals 2x, then it would be mapped to itself. OK, so this would include uh, the coordinates 1, 2, uh, 2, 4, 510, etc.